Howdy y'all, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today guys, we are playing some more Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Today, we are back on the Lone Ranger series, guys, and today, we are gonna be continuing building our western town here. So, we have a saloon, we have a jailhouse, and now, what every good western town needs, guys, we are gonna be building a livery, or a stable. Uh, so we do need a place for creatures to stay. We need a place to be able to store horses and ox and all of those things. So we are going to go ahead and build this uh, particular area here. I think I want to go back about four stalls, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. Each stall in this stable is going to be a two by two. Um, so basically eight deep and then the actual uh, front of the building is about seven wide. So hopefully we can get this built up relatively quickly. Um, I'm actually really excited for this build. It's gonna be a little tricky. The roof line is gonna be super difficult to actually capture the way I would like, but hopefully, hopefully it works okay. Um, all right, one second there. All right, I'm gonna need more than this. I can tell already. Okay, let's do this. Might as well fill them in. There, and then down here. And then a few more over this way. So we're almost done with the foundation for this thing. And then I do have, um, I do have an idea for how I want the stalls to look. Hopefully we can make it look good. That is like the major consideration I'm working with here. That is the that is the wrong thing. Let's go ahead and look in here. There we go. Let's grab some of these. All right, so this should be enough foundations. And then we can start laying out the actual walls of this building. Now, this is probably going to be a two-part build, guys. Just a fair warning. Um, <laughs> this is a pretty big building. And with how tricky these roof lines can be, uh, definitely probably going to need that second... Um, yeah, that second episode to make this a thing. But either way, definitely a build that we need and definitely one that I've been looking forward to doing for a while. So let's go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to grab some walls. All right. And put these here. Can we transfer these, please? There we go. Nope. All right. There. We'll just use the double tap. It's a little bit more efficient. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, so this is going to be a really large, tall building. Um, the center aisle is going to be kind of open to the outside or the center street here. So this is kind of where that's going to go. These three aren't going to get any walls because that's going to be like a walkway. And then I am going to put a window in each stall just to make sure that the creatures have some air and some light. That's going to look good. All right, let me put that there, there. I think that's the wrong, I think I put that in the wrong spot. Can we grab this? There we go. Here, 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 and then every other one here as well. Yeah, yeah, I think I got it. All right, cool. So now I also want to make sure I'm spilling this stuff in right. So the idea is, is that there's going to be some sloped roofs on the sides here. Um, leading up to kind of a central loft area. Now, that's why this build is going to be a little bit tricky, and you'll see what I mean as we go on, but um, the center area here is basically going to be built um, <laughs> built up inside here, and it could be a little bit tricky to get the roofs uh, to go where I want them for the loft and for the upper part of this build, but we're going to do our best, and hopefully we'll be able to make it work. All right, let's run over here. I'm going to grab some windows. I think we need eight windows, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. And then a few more walls, because you can never have too many walls, to be perfectly honest. Okay, let's go. Always weighed down with structures here. Okay, let's go ahead and get these in place so that we can get the shell outside area of this structure built. The real challenge is going to be building the inside of this whole structure. Um, I'm actually really kind of thinking I might be able to use uh, pillars to make it work. I probably will have to play with it a little bit, but I think that's how I'm going to end up making this work. 
and it will actually, if I use pillars, it'll make the placement of the stalls inside here a little bit better as well, a little bit easier. All right, am I gonna run out of walls right before I finish this? Probably. Oh no, perfect. Uh, am I short anywhere? No, we're good, I have one extra, perfect. Okay, so far so good. Uh, let's go ahead and get the sloped walls and I can start building the outside roof here and kind of show you guys what I mean by uh, having a tricky roof line. Basically, when you have a sloped roof, um, it becomes very, very difficult to snap anything to that roof line. So the idea here is to get these sloped roofs in place, but uh, it's, it's going to be a trick trying to make them look right. All right. Um, and then continue the build from the sloped roofs is going to be hard because normally you want to build everything else before you build the sloped roof, not the other way around. All right, let's place these ones. I may need more of these sloped, uh, sloped walls as well for the center portion, actually. Now that I think about it, might be a thing. All right, we're going to get those in place and then these. Yeah, looks good. Okay. Yeah, so far so good. I like it. I think it looks decent. Um, <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and do this and then start placing these sloped ceilings as well. Uh, 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 almost. Come on. Doesn't want to snap. There we go. Kind of got to find the right angle. Sometimes it doesn't like to go. All right, here, 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 and here. All right, so we need a few more on this side, and then we can start the other side. Um, yeah, and then I do want to have kind of a loft area up above the stalls, which are going to be all kind of built along here. Uh, so once I get the stalls in place, I think I'm going to use pillars inside here to kind of hold up the actual area um, that is going to make up the, the loft. So let's go ahead and grab some pillars maybe. Hopefully the pillars will work and I might even need to grab some fence foundations. We'll see how this goes. Definitely need pillars. I think I'm going to need some walls for this too. And then those are railings. These are fence foundations. Let's go ahead and see what I can do with this. Hopefully I can make this work. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a trick. This is kind of an experiment right here, guys. I don't often don't often do this on camera. I normally try to figure it out off camera, but um, we'll do it today anyway. So the edge of the stall, which I cannot place right now, I want it to be on this line. And then these like to snap only in the centers of, uh, of foundations, not on the edges or the corners. So that's why we have these. So if I place this, can I... It's not going to let me. All right, we'll put it there. Can I not place that? All right. Well, that's not going to make... That's not going to work. Okay. Let's try it this way. I'll try placing them across the center. Um, right here. So then the idea is I'll put one more at the edge of this. So there's going to be a little bit of a, a hitch in the floor, but you almost don't even notice it when you're using wood. Um, it blends in pretty well with the floor, especially when you're on top of it. All right, let's go ahead and grab the pillar. And so the pillar will snap to the edge of the fence foundation and make this look correct, which is what I'm really going for. So there we go. That should make that work. And then what I want to do is make sure that the interior here um, looks correct with all of these structures. Oh my gosh, the save is always terrible. Can I... Like that? So there should be a way to double up these walls. I don't know if it's going to let me do it here. Let me pick this up and see if I can fix it. Okay. All right. I may or may not have sneezed. We will never know. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. So there should be... Yeah, there should be two snaps here, I'm hoping. I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know if it's going to let me do it. 
There's got to be a way to make this work. Come on. No, no. Nope, it doesn't want to let me do it. Uh, sometimes you can do double snaps. Now, I've done it before, but I don't think it's going to let me do it on this particular build, uh, which is kind of kind of not great. I was really hoping I could get a build there where it would look um, uniform on each side, but either way, I can at least make it look kind of right by doing this. Yeah, so it'll basically be like this. So the inside of this one's going to have the log wall. The inside of this one's going to have the plank wall. And then log, plank, log. So it's going to be off on the back one, which is kind of super frustrating. I don't know if there's a way to fix that because I have an uneven number of stalls. But it is what it is, guys, and uh, I will live with it one way or another since for some reason I cannot remember how to make these uh, walls do what I want them to do. Are those both on the same snap? I don't even know if these are on the same snap, to be perfectly honest. It's a bit of a problem. Alright, can I... I'm gonna play with this again, see if I can make it work. I think... I know there's a way to do this. I may have to play with it for a little bit. There. There. Uh, can I flip it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's working. I'm not sure why it didn't let me do it on this one, but um, it did let me do it on this one, so I'm going to actually destroy this and see if I can't get these two to snap the way I want them to. Alright, so that's right, and then I want to put one here with it. No, come here. Come on. You had it before. I don't know why it doesn't want to go. It's not going to let me do it this time, guys. Alright. So, I know there's a way to do this. I know there is. I've done it before. It will work. I just got to figure out the snaps uh, so that they're correct. There. There. And then... Nope. Wrong position. Hold on. So, there's two snaps here. That, there. And then I want to flip it. Ugh, oh my gosh. I will get this. Okay. Super frustrating. No. Problems. All right, I'm going to destroy this one and see if I can't get these snaps. I may have to take a break here and play with it for a while because I know that there's a way to make this work, um, and I definitely want to make sure... I was going to try to hide the, the log wall part of this. If I can't do that, I will just try to face the log walls out because that may work. Um, we'll kind of see how it goes. But, uh, yeah, I may take a quick break and try to work out how to get those walls in place. But in the meantime, guys... Um, Please do uh, come up with some names for these new equists that I've tamed, actually. Because I did tame up some higher level equists that I've been looking at for a while, kind of keeping an eye on. And uh, we got some really good horses here. So we've got a, a male and a female. They look pretty great, and they both need names. So if you guys would come up with name suggestions for those, I would be super grateful. And I'm going to go figure out the walls and bring you guys back in a few minutes here. Okay, guys, so I have figured out this double wall problem. So, uh, you can make double walls, I was right, um, but there's no way to create them in such a way that this inner wall is um, facing on the outside because they take up the same snap point when you do it. So, uh, you can kind of see here, these two walls, you can place them kind of close together, um, but if you have both of them trying to face uh, with the planks on the outside, they kind of take up the same space and you won't be able to snap them correctly. So we're going to go ahead and keep building. There we go. It's a little bit tricky, but it is possible to do. There we go. And now they look just like that. Um, so it works out just fine. I went ahead and placed uh, fence foundations along the center here of the building and then got my pillars uh, started so that we have a bit of a shell here to work with. Um, we're going to go ahead and finish off all of these walls. Basically, you have to tap uh, the switch positions. 
and then uh, tap, uh, tap the change area button, and I believe, yep, there we go. So I could stack this wall right behind it, but I'm going to go ahead and flip it outwards so that it at least looks the same. And there you go. Uh, not the easiest thing in the world to do, but it does work. So there is that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't. There we go. Got to make sure that those ones are lined up. Otherwise, the one behind will not snap correctly. And it is going to try to place just behind that one. But you have to force it to place that way. All right, perfect. So uh, those are the wall dividers for the stalls. I'm going to go ahead and repeat that on this side. And then hopefully we can move on to the next chunk of this build. All right, can we... Did I place that wrong? I think I placed that one wrong. It's really difficult to remember how these need to be placed. There. 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 Got it. Got it. Um, I think my pillar might be off. I think my pillars might be off a little. They're kind of sticking out to one side. <laughs> Which does not surprise me because there are multiple snap points here. Um, let me check this one. How's this look? Nah, they're going to look a little bit funky. That's okay. They'll be pretty close, so I'll just have to live with it. Uh, I'll figure it out later. Nope. Do that. And then face it this way. Double check. Make sure it looks good. It's good. All right. Now let's do this side. Okay. And then it's going to want to snap right there. Flip it. Perfect. My gosh. These walls are such a pain. Um, there we go. I do like them, and I like the way that they look once you get them done, but actually putting them in place is such, such a process that if it wasn't for the fact that I really, really wanted this build to look pretty good... I probably would not bother. There we go, and then flip it that way. All right. So, unfortunately, as I was saying, there is no way, as far as I'm aware, to make this work um, in such a way that you can get the plank walls on the outside, but it is what it is. I also could have flipped, um, I could have flipped all of these walls so that they were facing inwards as well, and then it would have been kind of consistent on the inside, but, um, I don't know. I kind of like the, the look of the log build on the outside for the stable. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and carry on here. So now we're going to start building a little bit of the actual loft area, I think. Uh, there's a little bit more to do on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and place those pillars. And then we can move on from there. And I believe we do have enough pillars for this. I'm going to go ahead and put these walls back. There we go. Give me some of these. I think I need six six pillars something like that something like that okay and then I'm gonna need some uh, flat ceilings to make the actual loft with so hopefully this will work Let's run back over here I am absolutely loving this Western town and uh, just in case you guys were wondering these buildings are actually perfectly parallel I used foundations built out from the saloon to line up the front of this building so that um, we're gonna have a perfectly even street all the way down this area here, which I'm actually really excited about because I want all of my builds to look good. I want it to look uniform, and I do think that's going to be a, a good trick to make it happen. There we go. And then just like that. Okay. Okay, cool. So we're going to see if we can get these to place. I'm not sure I'll be able to because they probably are going to want to play center. They do. They do want to play center. So I may have to try to build um, thatch walls. Yeah, I may have to build thatch walls up to get these to stick where I want them to. Um, I actually have some wooden walls I can use for now. We can use thatch later on. I'll use thatch for the... Actually, no. Once I get these up, we should be fine. Uh, we only need, like, three walls. Four? Four walls. I think four walls. Uh, let's go ahead and try this. Put these here. This should work, if I'm not mistaken. But I might be mistaken. Okay. Uh, 
Let's go ahead and... Actually, that's wrong. Yeah, okay. Just like that. And then I think what I can do... Is snap this. Oop, if I could get the snap correct. It's gonna be real hard to do. There we go. Alright, so I should be able to snap that up there, I think. And then I should be able to destroy the walls um, underneath it. Should be able to. Nope. Okay. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more work on that, but there should be a way to do that and then destroy the walls underneath that ceiling um, once they are actually connected to a pillar or some other form of support. Otherwise, this is going to be a big pain to try to build, which I'm not super thrilled with. Um, you know, I might also put pillars on the edges here, the front and the back, just to make them look good. Okay, well, that'll be a problem for the next episode, guys. Like I said, this is going to be a two-parter. This build is really massive, and it's definitely going to be tricky with um, how crazy these ceilings, uh, this upper part of the ceiling, anyway, is going to be. Because I do want to actually have a loft up there. That kind of stands alone from the rest of this, and that's that's a big ask. Alright guys, so, um, I do think that that is going to do it for today's episode. We at least have the stalls built, uh, which is pretty good progress, and we will be able to move on from there. So yeah guys, uh, if you did find yourself enjoying this one at any point, please do remember to hit that like button, because it seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off, this is the Iguana.